so thank you for coming to uh, play a game with me. Now, uh, what I want you to do, now, what I want you to do is, uh, is this. The first thing that I want you to do is that I want you to pick up the cards that you have in front of me. Yeah. The brood drones right there, they are reinforcements. You put, you put, you pick up the card, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna pick all of my cards as well. Now, now you can before we uh, do something with them, I want to tell you this. Your goal is to keep the abomination alive for three turns. Okay. Or kill everybody. Okay. Usually that's more fun. But uh, my goal is to kill it in these three turns. Okay, yeah. Right? So what I want you to do is that I want to use your cards, take your cards, and make a death. Like, arrange the order mm -hmm. of, of the cards in any way you want. And so the top card is the first one that plays. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna draw the, the top card and then one more. Okay, so let's see. So my rolls so far have not been okay. the best. Okay, so what I gotta do, I'm drawing my, my first card, right? Mm -hmm. These are the mana terms. I'm placing the card next to the unit to know that I'm playing with this. Okay. Right, so every time I activate, I get two actions, okay. right? Now, my strategy here would be to try and charge the abomination, mm -hmm. right? To do that, first of all, you can pre-measure at any point. Okay, go. Right. So let me see. So that's nine inches. Yes. Right. Now I get a choice here. If I want to charge, I roll the die. Let's say I would roll the five. I would add it to my to the M characteristic here that stands for march. Yes. Right. And if that's enough to make the distance, then that's successful charge, and I move everybody on to your. So your your move characteristic is five, so it would be a four be, more. Exactly. So a 50 50 chance. Exactly. Now, if I feel that it, I'm not, it's not easy for me to make it. Right. I could march, I could use, I could move up five inches and then charge you as a second action. The thing is this though, I only have two actions. If I move and charge, I don't have an action free to attack. Okay. So charging does not mean attacking. Okay. Sometimes that's quite useful because you want to tie in a range unit and you want to move and charge, not attack, but you feel safer because you're not going to let them uh, shoot, let's say. Uh, failing a charge means end of activation? Failing a charge means you move as far as you roll, mm -hmm. only whatever you roll in the die, okay. and uh, you end your, acti you end your activation. Okay, yeah. okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and charge. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's, that's a four. four. That's exactly four. enough. That's exactly what I need. Now I have to move them in such a way uh, so to maximize the amount of content, amount of stands in contact. Okay. Right? Yes. Right. Now stands in contact are important because they're considered engaged. Mm -hmm. Right. So the stands that are engaged get to attack with their full attacks, and the stands that are unengaged only support. Okay. Right. Now, keep in mind that the actual miniature on the table is the stand. The miniatures are markers on it. Okay. Right? So, the actual rank here is the stand, not the miniature. Okay. So, my first action was to charge. I successfully did that. And that gives me a bonus. And that gives me an inspire bonus. I'll tell you in a little bit what's that yep. about. Okay. So, now, as my second action, I will try and attack you. Okay. Now, three of my stands are engaged. I have one attack per guy, mm -hmm. so that's 12 attacks. Yes. Okay. And, and two 11, and two 12. Now I have three stands that are supporting. The supporting stands only hit with one attack per stand. Ah, okay, so three more. Exactly. Now, you'll notice in my card that I have a statistic called C. C stands for clash, right? I need to roll equal to or less than that value. So the higher the stat, the, stat, the better it is. Now, going back a little bit before when I told you that I charge so I get an inspiration bonus. Yeah. So that gives me a clash one to my clash. Okay, so, so it's instead not three of, or less. Exactly, okay. now it's three or less. So let's see. That is two. So this is basically This is basically the stuff. My initial thought was that it goes to roll, but then I saw it. Yeah, yeah, four or five, I six isn't that good. I know. 
so oh, seven okay. hits. So that's seven hits. Now, what I need you to do is that I want you to pick up the dice. Okay. And I want you to roll seven defense rolls. We go straight to defense. Okay. You have a defense of three. So threes and under. Threes and under. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a pretty good pretty roll. Pretty good roll. Okay, so now you take two wounds. Okay. You have ten wounds total. Let's put a marker here. Yeah. Now, every, every time we take a wound, right, we have to roll for resolve. Casualties in conquest are not always people that are killed. Sometimes they get demoralized, they run away, they get wounded, right? Yep. And so every time we take a wound from close combat, we also roll a resolve test to see if we take additional wounds. Okay. That could be from injuring the beast and bleeding out all the way to individual soldiers running away. Mm -hmm. So I want you to pick up two dice, one for every wound that you've taken, and you roll a resolve test that you have a resolve of four, four and under. Both success. Good. No problem. You're good. Okay. So I, I, you took two wounds. I have eight wounds to go. To get you. Now it's your turn. You pick up a card. Okay. I have my archers here. Marks my clones. Perfect. Okay. So tell me what you want to do, and I'll help you out. Um, I Did assume I can't shoot into the close combat. You can. You, I can. Okay. You actually can. Uh, but my other op option is, since those haven't activated yet, if I can try to make wounds there, they have a less offensive power, so I will take less wounds here. So I will okay. try and shoot those archers. Those okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to measure how far we are. Yeah. We measure from closest to closest. We're about 15 inches away, 16. Yep. Okay. Now, I want you to read your special rules. It uh, says... It's barrage 2, it says 28 bar inches, arcing 5. Okay, so barrage 2 means that every single guy of your guys has fires two shots. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, this is an elite unit for the spires. You'll see yeah. that they have three arms, yes. and they're designed, they're bioengineered to fire a lot faster. Uh, that's why they're clones. Right, exactly. So, now, basically, you have... That you would have four dogs. Now, the 28 inches is your range, but yeah. that's your maximum range, mm -hmm. not your effective range. Okay, yeah. Every time you fire further than half your range, you do half shots. Ah, okay. So if you fire over half, you fire half shots. So I so let's stay see. on 12 because. Yeah. So let's see. Right now you're 16 inches away, so you yeah. get a choice. You can either take one action to march okay. and come within half range mm -hmm. and fire full shots, or you can stay where you are, you can use an action to aim, that gives you a plus one to your volley. Mm -hmm. So instead of ones and twos, you want one, twos, and threes. Uh, v is for the volley, for volley for exactly. Range so okay. you can aim and shoot. What would you like to do? Move closer and fire full shots, or stay where you are and fire half shots, but more accurately? I think the odds are better if I move and shoot. Okay. So, so let's see, in order to move, you have five inches of movement, right? You take the stand, you, yeah. move, you move from front to front all the way up here. Okay. That'll be it. And now you can see for yourself, you're within half range yes. and you are you can fire your full shots. Now you have 24 shots. Yeah. Uh, I believe all dice here are 24 in total. So yeah. you can use that and we'll put it back. We remember that so two. ones and twos. Ones and twos. So. Okay. So that's that's just that's good. I mean, exactly in 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 the thing I calculated. Yeah. Well, these guys are they go they're very lightly armored. Yeah. They have armor piercing missiles. They're good, but they only have a defense of one. Oh, okay. So let's see. Not a single one. Not a single one. <laughs> Not even a two. Four. So eight guys are gone. Nine. Now, as we said before, I only take resolve tests yep. during close combat. Yes. I don't take resolve tests from shooting. Okay. However, every time I lose half of my stand in a single round, I become broken. Okay. Broken does not mean I run away, but what it means is that next time I activate, I have to use an action to rally. Okay, so you basically lose one action. So exactly. Now, if you action. break a, a regiment and you break it again before it has time to rally, mm -hmm. it shatters and everybody runs away. Okay. Okay, so now that will be your turn, yes. and now it's my turn to play. Now, the next car is the Crossman. Yes. Okay, so my first action has to be Rally, mm -hmm. right? 
And since I understand they're very weak, and I'm going to try and shoot whatever I can to the abomination. Yes. I have whereas one, only one shot. And I have a range of 20 inches, so let's see. Now, I'm not within short range, I'm within long range. I don't have an action to move and shoot. So I'm just going to shoot from where I am and try and do my best. I have three shots, I can only fire half because I fire over half distance. We round that up though, so I get two shots. I have a volley of two, so I do once and two. Okay, so let's see. One, one hit. Now I want you to roll defense. So say if you have a defense of three, I have armor piercing one, so that I reduce your defense by one. So one and two. That's one wound. So no resolve test. We only do that on range. So that was my turn. Okay. You move on to your next card. Uh, I got the force ground drones. That's the force ground drones. Um, I would try to charge those in the flank. Absolutely. You'll notice that the majority of your regiment is placed on the flank of the unit. Right. So what you need to do now, the only thing you need to do is you want to measure from closest to closest, that's five inches. Yes. Now, even now we, we said earlier that you roll a single die mm -hmm. and you add your march. But here, even if you roll the one, you can still make it. Yes. So you move up the closest distance possible to engage as many stances as you can. Okay. It doesn't matter how far this this edge moves. Okay. It only matters that you make this distance. Okay. So so this guy will come all the way up to here. Yeah. Right here on the exactly. corner. Exactly. So, so touching a corner is enough for uh, touching a corner uh, considers is you, okay. you're considering engaged. So, but you don't have to uh, align on corners. I could you can do. shift them one inch up. Uh, you have to align. Okay, you have to align. You have to make sure that it's flush. Okay. So they follow up there. Now these guys got a pretty good charge there. And, yeah. that, and that's really the thing with conquest, you know, the, it's a lot that like these guys are there to take punishment and protect the abomination, yes. right? So they're there. They're probably going to get flanked, yes. but you know something, they, they're going to do their job, they're going to hold the ground, and they're not going to let these guys attack Both there while at the yes. same time doing some damage. Yeah. So that's a pretty good move. Okay, like before, we want to see how many stats are engaged. So I got three, three stats? stats are engaged. You have one attack each, so that's 12. Three stands are unengaged, so they support with one attack each. Now you'll notice you have the support special rule. Yeah. That means because they have spears, they support with two attacks per unengaged stand. So you have 18 attacks total. Uh, 16. 12 attacks, four, uh, uh, yeah, 14, 18. 16, okay, 18. Great. Okay, my clash now, value is one, but now I'm this, charged. These guys are not very good fighters. They only have a clash of one, but because you charge, you get a plus one to that. So clash of two, ones and twos. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight total. That's very good. Now, the first thing I have to do is throw for defense, right? Mm -hmm. I have a defense of two. Usually, when you when I'm getting hit from the front, I get a plus one to my defense because of the shield. Mm -hmm. But I don't get that when I'm hit from the side. Okay. So I only have defense of two. That's One's and twos. Now that's um. Three guys are good, five guys are gone. Mm -hmm. Now, I need, first of all, I need to remove entire stands. Okay. And I have to do it in such a way that I maximize the amount of stands engaged. So I have to remove this one. Mm -hmm. So these guys are out, and one more guy. Now, as we said before, in the, units may not run away, but individual soldiers do. Yeah. So I have to roll a single resolve test for every wound that I've taken. Because it's five coming. wounds, five resolves. Yes. I have a resolve of two. I get a plus one to my resolve, to my resolve because I have a large, I have a large regiment, four to six stands. Okay. So one, two, two, and three. Okay. Three guys are good. Two more guys are gone. Now the cool thing is, because you charge me from the flank, mm -hmm. I get to re-roll successful resolve tests. Oh, okay. So I have to roll these again. One, two, three. So let's see. Two more guys are out. Okay, now let me remove this one just to make it a little faster, and I'll put these guys in their in their place. So that was some pretty good some pretty good attacking, right? Yeah. You flank me, uh, my guys start running away. That was pretty good. Okay, so now that'll be my turn. 
I get to play with my Steel Legion. Now, these yeah. guys are elite infantry. They're going to do damage, but I mean, it's, it's good they're not doing it here. My objective is this. I, I hate having to hit them, but I have to carve my way through that. Okay, so let's see. Now, the same way I'm going to charge. It, I, doesn't, I don't have to roll, given how close we are. Yes. Right? Okay, so even if I roll a one, I can still make it. I'm going to go into combat. Okay, I'm moving the least amount pos possible to engage all of my stands. So, action one. Charging that was successful. I get an inspiration bonus to plus one to my class. Mm -hmm. These guys are pretty good, they have a class of three base, so I get a plus one to that. One, two, three, and fours. I get 12 attacks here. I need fours and under, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. That's eight. Yep, pretty good. Now, here's the, th the thing with them. You have a defense of one. Yeah. But you don't get it. You don't get a sealed bonus. Right. And because these guys like... have cleave two. They reduce your armor by two. Ah, so like so ten... no armor. Okay. They're no, like so just eight guys are out. Okay. So, so two. Two complete trays. Two complete gone. stands are out. Perfect. And now you'll have to take eight resolve tests. Okay. And I have to reroll the successes because you flanked. Exactly. So you have okay. a resolve of two. Plus one because it's a large stand. Three. Yes. Large treasure. So that's bad. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, those two are successful because exactly. I got the result. Okay, so you have four and, and another two. Exactly. There you go. Now, like we said before, because you lost half of your stands, this turn you're broken. Yep. So next time they play, they have to uh, rally as a first mm -hmm. action. Okay, so that was my turn. Now back to you. Okay, I got my brute drones. All right. Now this is a this is an interesting part of the game. So the brutes are reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Are reinforcements. They're not currently on the table. Now, when we want to, we have to figure out where our reinforcements arrive from. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do is that we see which one is our foremost regiment. And by foremost, I mean the regiment that has moved closer to my table edge. Okay, yeah, the, the, the so spearmen. That's the spearmen. Now, we draw a line behind them, mm -hmm. right? And we want to see whether an enemy regiment has crossed that line. Right now, nobody has crossed this line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means that you can bring your reinforcements from any place from your table edge okay. and from any part of the sides all the way up to that line. So okay. It's like it's almost as if the brutes were waiting here and walking onto the table. Okay. Now, what's important for your moves to remember is that you can move through your own units. You cannot overlap, but you can move through them. Okay. You can also charge through your own units. However, if you fail to charge and you end up overlapping, both regiments are broken, so you have to be careful. Okay, yeah. okay so what would you like to do with the brutes and I'll help you go through it. Uh, since your cavalry is still coming, I would try to bring the brutes in here to okay. support my archers and maybe place in front of them. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. Now the line would go at about here, would you agree? Yeah. Draw the line, that would be about there. Looks good. Now, imagine as if the brutes are coming in like diagonally, right? Mm -hmm. You have a march of six. Now you can move twice. Yes. So you can move overall twelve. Let's measure here. You can come up to about here. Does that sound good for you? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now we cannot charge the turn we come in. Mm -hmm. Right? So I will not be able to charge you when I come in. You'll okay. be we'll have to see next turn what happens. Okay. So that will be your turn. Now that will be my knights. Again, the same thing. I have to see which is my foremost unit. That's the uh, that's the man at arms. The drones are not crossing that line because we're at the exact same point, and that's the, that's why we we do not we have to, we put the bases flush. Mm -hmm. But the brutes do. That corner is crossing that line, so I have to go to the steel legion. Okay. My line is up to here. Yes. Now I'm gonna try and do something else. What I'm gonna try and do is that I will try to come in from the other side. Mm -hmm. I have a march of eight, so I will move twice, mm -hmm. and I will come somewhere about here. Yes. Give or take. Now, what?
once we're done with all of our cards, we pick them up again. I have, I have one left. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Start. I have my abomination left. Abomination, absolutely. How can... Uh, <laughs> no problem. Forgot uh, or I really don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> so one of the things I'm trying to get. So um, can I attack twice in one activation? No, you cannot attack twice, but what you can do is that you can spend an action to inspire. Mm -hmm. That gives you the same bonus as having charge. Ah, okay. So, so you can get the plus one. Okay. So instead of hitting on ones and twos, you hit on ones, twos and threes. And the Abomination is pretty good at tearing up infantry. Okay, I got ten attacks. Exactly. Now at flash three. Exactly. I have cleave one. Now cleave one, we said that you reduce my armor by one. Okay. If flurry Sorry. means you get to re-roll hits. Oh, okay. And, and terrifying means that I get minus one to my result. Okay. So, let's have a look. Okay. Uh, I need the reroll. Oh man, okay, okay, that was a... Uh... <laughs> that was a horrible roll. So, yeah. Uh, that's, that's a lot better. better. A lot yes. better. Okay. So, seven hits total. Seven hits total. Okay, so let's see. I have here six dice. That's seven. Now, I have a defense of two. Plus one for the seal three. Minus one, I go back to two. Okay, so ones and twos. That's some pretty good rolling on my part. That's three. And that is, that is dead. Now, remember, I have to check whether I lost half of my stance every turn. Yep. So that... I, this turn, I, I start with six. Now you destroy the third one, so now I'm broken. Okay, yes. If you would have done it next turn, I would have started with four, so you would have to kill two stand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I, I've taken three wounds, I have to roll three resolve tests. So, I have a resolve of two. I no longer have a large regiment, and I get a minus one from your terrifying. Yep. So, so only two. once. It's another three guys are out. Activation of the abomination. That's the that's the abomination, and uh, I roll pretty good there. I'm, yeah, and I'm not so bad. I, I'm <laughs> I roll, still not too I'm worried. A little, a little feeling is somewhat better. Now the thing is, if you if you had broken me and killed two more stands, yep. they would have all gone away. Yep. So that was pretty. That I got a really good break there. <laughs> okay, so now we pick up all the cards again. So you get it, you get it And uh, we, we now, mind, keep in mind that we don't know who's going first this turn. Yeah. So it might we have to roll off again. Uh, if the unit gets wiped out before it activated, do I skip its activation? Or yeah, you skip it. You put the card aside and you can draw the next card. Okay. So let's roll off. You see, that's uh, six for me. That's uh, six, six for me for you. too. Okay. Okay. Let's see. That's one. another six. It's the one for me. Today I've been rolling. I've been rolling well. Okay. So let's see. Now that's the Steel Legion. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is that I will use one action to reform. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm gonna try and move my unit like this. I have okay. to roll a resolve test to do that. I fail. Now, I still make it, but I take one hit per stand that I'm in contact with. It's automatic, but I have to roll to save. And I save it. Okay. As a second action, I will attack, but without inspiration. So that will be 12 attacks. It's 5, 6, 8, 10, 12. 3 surrender. Pretty good. Seven guys are out. So I don't have any defense against that? So seven guys will be out. So now the thing is, you haven't had time uh, to, to rally. So since I broke you, and then I broke you again, and I killed two stands, everybody runs away. Ah, uh, okay. So, so that was just gone. Yeah. Okay. Place him over here. Do you have any kind of reforming if you clean from uh, a No, but what you can do is this. If you feel that, that you can destroy a unit, 
instead of inspiring and attacking, you can, let's say, attack with your first action and then move or charge somewhere else with your second. Mm -hmm. So it all comes down to how you manage your actions. Okay. So that will be your... So my card here would be the Spearman. So okay, that's fine. Drones. You disregard it and you move on to the next. Okay, the next one are the Brute Drones. Perfect. Okay, so I would like to do with that? Uh, I would like to measure the closest distance here. That's about eight inches okay. from corner to corner. I got a movement of six. All so need two. Try to charge. Perfect. So just the two or more. Uh, that's four. Perfect. This guy comes here. Yeah, I'm afraid I have no room to place another train. No. So, so that would have been this. Yep. Okay. Now, this is what happens here. Now, the brute, as with anything that is larger than a man, every time it, it charges, simply by impacting the opponent, it flicks impact hits. Okay. Right. Now, so before you even attack as a second action, right, you have to roll impact. Impact is half of your attacks. So Round it up. So you have five, three attacks each. So yeah. you do nine attacks. For each trace, still? Three for each. Okay. So that's, you get no bonuses for that unless you have a special rule. So that's a ones and twos. Okay, ones and twos. That's a horribly bad roll. That's a one. I have a, I have a defensive two, which is good. But well, that's fine. Now you get to attack as a second action. Okay, now I got four for each. Does he strike two? Now, these two guys will attack full complement of attacks. He will support with one. He will support, okay. Let me point out something here. If you have killed now, if you have hit me with the uh, with the impact, yep. I would have to remove this stand because yep. I have to remove complete stands, yes. and that would have made your unit stranded. Ah, now, if okay. you could reach me with a single march, if I was within your movement, you could move up, follow up, and then attack me. Okay. But if for some reason you couldn't fit in this gap, then we would remain unengaged. Ah, okay. So that no. 10 for those two, and Yeah, 15 total. Uh, 10 and then 11. 11, yeah. 11 total. So 1, 2, so 3, and you have Flurry. flurry. You get reroll. And uh, But Flurry doesn't count for these impact effects. No. Okay. Flurry is only for Clash. So, okay. uh, uh, 2 or less, so it just... Uh, 3 or less, you get a bonus for... Uh, yeah, for, for charging. For charging. That's good. So you roll these. Okay. Used to roll high, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I get a defense of two. I don't get the sealed bonus. Yes. Right. So that's... Uh, okay. So that's uh, four guys. Six guys are out. Yep. And I'm just going to go ahead and roll resolves right away. Yes. I have resolve of two. I need to re-roll successful. So that's... Uh, that would be all. Yeah. That unit is gone. They're all. What does the unstoppable rule mean? Unstoppable mean you get to re-roll your charge distance. Ah, okay. So I was uh, really. Uh, you had a fairly really easy yeah, to get this. You had a really good chance to charge this. Uh, All right. So that will be now my next action. That will be the household knight. Mm -hmm. Now it's quite hard to charge. Let's see how far that is. That's about 13 inches, right? So I need a 5 or a 6 to charge you. Yes. That's pretty hard. But you know something, I'm going to go for it. You never know. <laughs> and you get it. <laughs> Today, I've been rolling like there's no tomorrow. I don't know what has been happening. We made the charge. These guys have been coming in hot. And they, let's see. So. Okay. So. First of all, I have impact. So that's six attacks. Everybody has four each, so half of that is impact. Okay, so let's see. You get three hits. You have a defense of three. I have brutal impact two. So brutal impact reduces your armor by two in the impact. Okay, so I got so a defense once. of one. Uh, got that's two more ones. That's so total of five. And you take two resolve tests. Now, anything that has a single stand yep. does not have flanks. Uh, okay. So you don't you don't have to re-roll resolve test. You have a resolve of four and uh, another one. One success, one not, so another one. I'm down to four lives. And now I have to fight with my claw attach. So uh, you need to so for the best, I have no special rule in my attacks, just plain attacks. I have a clash of two, I get plus one to mod because of charging, threes and under. So, 
level five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, six. Well, there wasn't five in them. But, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, no. sorry. Sorry, five. Yeah. I didn't see. So, but you don't have any cleaving or something, no, so I'll no, no, no. say for three on okay. uh, it. Three more wounds, so I'm down to one left of that point. Oh, you have, yeah, and you have to roll three result tests. Uh, you read four or under. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> He's Good. gone. Okay. Thank you. Now, okay. usually, usually the abominations role is not to be there and tank it and everything. But one of the reasons we make it as a main objective is actually because this is in the starry set. Mm -hmm. Actually, everything we played in this video, in, in this uh, video, uh, with the exception of right the, now, the moment uh, and the steel legion, everything else in this game is in the starry set. Mm -hmm. Right, that's full plastic, retails at 85 euros, and straight to retail, so straight to your store. This means mm -hmm. that the next time these guys will yeah, it's, it's quite fast paced, so uh, not a lot of toys and markers on the board. Uh, maybe some reminder for Broken, but uh, it's really, it's catching, yeah. We wanted to go with a game that that has simple rules. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make uh, simple, not simplistic, we wanted to make it easy to learn. But at the same time, we wanted to make strategic enough yeah. in, the, in the way we activate the cards and in the way that works, you know, so you can get a deep tactical experience without bogging the game down sometimes with things that are not really fun. If I have, say, multiple archers, multiple bowmen, I would only add one card to the deck? Or you would add each one for each. Uh, one for and each. and okay. you get to choose which one activates. Okay, so it has a strategic element in exactly. playing multiple same units, so you can adapt which unit to activate. There is, a, there is an element that you can use, you, use, uh, you can use multiple of the same. At the same time, the way we make our list is, is interesting for this game. What we do is that we employ characters. Now, every character unlocks up to four regiments, up to four mainstay, or up to two restricted. So if you want two restricted, you have to have two mainstay, right? Now, if you try and use too many of the same, you'll have to get another character to put more units. And so the more you use the same unit, the more diminishing returns you get. And the other thing is that in an actual game, nothing starts on the table. So you'll have your light forces that will come in, they will fight for objective, and then medium and heavy units will come in from the side late in later turns. They have these uh, exactly. forward lines you could exactly. set up with your larger So if you try and spam too much, you'll get diminishing returns in points, but at the same time, you're missing out in, a, in, in, in the light, medium, or heavy phase of the game. So you need a good balance to make sure you're playing the game throughout. Okay. Yeah, well, that sounds great, right? Uh, thank you very much for the demo. Thank you for the game. And uh, I'll keep an eye on it. So if the release was next year, you said? The release is June 2019. June 2019. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,